Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a guide on the boss fight versus Sir Sloan. Now this boss fight unlocks the secret job Brave Bearer and you need to get this in order to get the true ending but you do have to defeat the Knight Nexus first to be able to do this fight. Now seeing as you've just fought the Knight Nexus this boss fight is much easier but it is still threatening as you can see I lost Elvis there in one hit so you do need to be careful on what your strategy is. This boss also has 240,000 HP, so they're not exactly weak in any shape or form. So going in with a bad strategy, you could end up losing even though you're able to defeat the Knight Naxxus. Uh, for me, my strategy is going to be a White Mage, a Shieldmaster subbing Bastion, a Pictomancer subbing Bard, and a Hellblade. Um, with the White Mage, I will be using some Spirit Master abilities to help keep the team up. But uh, the main thing that you need to look out for, I would say, is Microgravity. It's a very, very damaging attack. It can knock out everyone on the team. That's the main reason why I'm using the Shield Master here. As if my teammates are at low HP, like when you use the Phoenix down, they're going to be in that lethal yellow HP, just 300. The Shield Master will use the Protect Ally ability and take the damage for them. Which makes it a lot easier as I can uh, use uh, Default, I can reduce the damage on my Shield Master and have them block attacks for everyone else. And obviously just uh, the Shield Master having such high HP, they're able to take the hits much better than anybody else. Um, it is important that I stay on top of getting that HP to max as uh, there's again just so much damage that's going to be coming out from the boss. Uh, for my own damage dealing, I'm going to be using my Hellblade. Uh, the Death Throws ability though, it only actually stacks two times. It'll put you at 100% for your physical attack, which is very, very useful. You'll be able to deal so much damage. Uh, using the Brave Bringer ability, it'll be a lot easier to stack up my Bard abilities, my Pictomancer abilities and get my Hellblade able to attack after they've used their own death throws. Getting that BP back up. Um, again, that is a legendary ability. If you need to unlock that, I will link to a video that can uh, help you out with the challenge portal that unlocks that. But um, with Adele here, he is trying to set up, so she actually needs to be at higher HP. So to keep Adele safe, I'm going to be using a uh, Rampart because uh, normally I keep Adele low, but it actually uses HP to use the Hellblade attacks, at least the one that I'm going to be using here as the boss is weak to darkness. And yeah, you can see I have plus 100%, plus 100% for physical damage, damage inflicted, and minus 35% on the boss's defense. So we were able to deal a lot of damage there. Though I didn't have enough HP to use all the Onyx Blades, so again, you do need to be vigilant on how much HP it costs and how much HP you're using. Otherwise, you will waste your turns, so do be wary of that. And then yeah, again with Microgravity, you can actually block that with Rampart, so Adele does not take the first one, does get hit by the second one. And then this Victory Smite, very, very damaging. Uh, that'll one-hit every single one of my teammates that are not the Shield Master. And then I really enjoy this here, the uh, Onyx Blades. They don't just hit the first time, they will hit a second time after a little while. And then yeah, once the boss gets low, he'll use this Wall of Woe, which will reduce everyone's BP by one. So again, this is why I'm using the Brave Bringer. So even if the boss manages to reduce my BP, I can immediately just gain that BP back. So I don't have to worry about the boss dragging me into the red. Now, um, once you do have like proper HP levels and uh, are using the death rows, it's very easy to deal about like 11,000, 17,000 damage to the boss depending on your abilities. Obviously you need the uh, surpassing limits and that'll allow you to do over 9,000. But uh, yeah, that is going to be my guide for this boss fight. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I make sure to read all of those. There's a lot of strategies that I use that I can't exactly fit into such a short guide. So yeah, feel free to ask and I will see you guys next time. Peace.